Hello. <clears throat> this is a lesson on the production possibilities curve and opportunity cost. And the reason I'm doing them together at the same time is because the production possibilities curve is an illustration or a way to show uh, opportunity cost. Uh, in front of you, or in, in front of your face on the screen, you see um, a graph. And what this graph represents is what an imaginary country can produce. And this imaginary country can only produce two things, guns and butter. And if this country wants to produce guns, it can. And if it wants to produce butter, it can. It can produce only guns or only butter, or it can produce both, a little bit of both. But the key here is if, they, if they're currently producing a certain amount of guns and butter and they want to produce more guns, that means they're going to have to give up producing some butter. And it works in reverse. If they want to produce more butter, they can, but that means they're going to have to give up the production of some guns. And that's what we call opportunity cost. It's your next best choice with your, with your resources, with your factors of production. What, what, would, what would be your second best choice to do with your time or your money? Um, in this imaginary country, again, producing only guns and butter, um, we see a big red curve running across the graph, and that's called the production possibilities curve. And what that shows us is that shows us what this country is capable or, or, or able to produce. It's what's possible for them to produce. That's why it's called the production possibilities curve. And as we see here, if this country wants to, they can produce 40 guns a day. If they want to be at point A, they can because it's on this curve. But if they do, they're only going to produce zero tons of butter, no butter. Or they could choose to be at point D. That's possible, too, because it's on the curve, uh, which would mean they would be producing eight tons of butter, but zero, oh, look at that, zero guns. Now, that's just being extreme. Either all guns or all butter. Probably more likely they're going to be at point B or C or somewhere else along this line producing a combination of guns and butter. The key here for a moment is to understand that anything along this red curve is possible. Anything behind this red curve is possible. They could choose to be at, at point F if they wanted. What's not possible is to be beyond this red curve. This is not, they can't do it. They don't have enough energy or time or men or women or steel or cows or grass or whatever to produce 30 guns a day <clears throat> and 8 tons of butter a day. They can't be at E. They can be at C or B or A or anywhere else on this line but not E. Now let's ask a question here about calculating opportunity cost on this graph. If I told you that the president of this country wanted to move from being at point B to point C and he gave an order to his people, we're now going to no longer be at B, we're going to go to C, that really means they're going to be wanting to produce more butter. That's what he's saying. By going from B to C, he wants to produce more butter. Now there's going to be a cost, and that's called the opportunity cost, what he gives up. They're going to lose guns. My question is, how much more uh, what will be the opportunity cost if they choose to go from B to C? What will they give up? How many guns will they give up by going from B to C? You can press pause. I'll give you the answer in a minute. The answer, the opportunity cost to go from point B to point C is 15 guns. At point B, they were producing 35 guns. At point C, they're producing 20. That's a loss of 15 guns. That's it. That's the opportunity cost to go from B to C. Now, what are they gaining? What are they getting in, 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 in benefit? Well, they're going from three tons of butter to six. That means they're gaining or getting an extra three tons of butter. The cost they're paying is 15 guns. Let's try it again. Let's go from point A to C. Press, what is the opportunity cost to go from A to C? Press pause. The answer, the opportunity cost to go from point A to point C is 20 guns, going from 40 to 20. What's the benefit? Well, they're getting six tons of butter, from zero tons all the way to six. Let's do two more. What's the opportunity cost to go from point D, D as in dog, to point C? Think about it. Press pause. The answer? You're giving up two tons of butter, going from D, which was producing eight, now to producing six, 
D to C, you're giving up two tons of butter. But what are you getting? You're getting 20 guns. Because at D, you weren't producing any guns, and now you're going to be producing 20. And the last one. What's the opportunity cost to go from D to A? Press pause. And the answer is you're giving up 8 tons of butter because at point D you were producing 8 tons and now you're going to be producing 0. What are you gaining? Well, you're gaining a lot of guns. You're going from 0 guns all the way up to 40. So there you are. That's the lesson on the production possibilities curve and opportunity cost. Thank you for listening.